the uh, front's come in and it's pretty windy. It's about 30 k's, 30 to 40 k's wind uh, through the night. And it's just been raining for oh, a good eight, eight or so hours so far. And yeah, the co fires are looking grand. They're all flowering right now. We've got a bunch of co fires here, and they bring in flocks of tuis. And the tuis are just neat to watch and listen to. There's a big bunch of them over here on this tree here. Sheep all made it into the barn with their little lambs. I wasn't sure whether they were going to uh, get out of the storm and make it into the barn, but I prepped it. And they seemed to work it out, which was pretty cool. Hey, it's early morning on the farm, and it's been. Uh, been a while, a couple of weeks. We've had our uh, lambing. So, in regards to our sheep flock, we just have uh, five Wiltshire ewes. They're all they're all first time mothers, and uh, we've got one Wiltshire ram, and he's a he's black or Blackshire. So we're crossing up the white Wiltshires um, with the black uh, Wiltshires. And they're uh, also, they're all self-shedding. So that's one of the key characteristics of the Wiltshires. Now this is the last uh, ewe to lamb. She just lambed yesterday. And she's lambed a black little lamb and a, and a white lamb. And they're two healthy... Uh, we lambs, I don't even know if they're a boy or a girl at this stage. <laughs> I had a hard day yesterday working away and Amber dealt with the lambing. So the sheep, when they're lacking uh, iodine, they developed these swollen lymph nodes in a condition called goiter and this wee ram has goiter so as soon as we found out that the soils were low in iodine um, which is water soluble and washes out really quite quickly if you get a lot of rain in a high rain environment um, we started supplementing it to the lambs with a chelated mineral water soluble chelated mineral which has iodine selenium, copper, um, and other, other micro minerals. So I gave this, this boy who had the real bad goiter, I gave him three mils of this chelated minerals on day two or three. Now I say that because it's hard to, he was born first and I didn't um, pick it up until possibly day two. But yeah, you can see the goiter on his neck. There, yeah, the real quite heavily swollen lymph nodes. And he is over a week old now. So we'll see um, how he does in the future. But he'll become a cull ram. Um, and we'll just he'll just be a meat sheep. 
I'd say, with with a bloody gorse like that. We only have um, two of seven uh, lambs that have any uh, goiter sort of issues. So the majority of the sheep were all right. It was just these two that had it, had it the worst. In 100% survival rate so far. Goiter or no goiter. There's another one of our ewes. She had a couple of um, twins. One of them's a healthy little girl. And the other is one of two um, lambs that are displaying these signs of uh, goiter, which is this iodine deficiency. Yes, uh, we've put these little jackets over them, and uh, that way, during the rough weather, they can keep warm. And they seem to work quite well, and they've managed to get them through to about six or seven days. Yeah. This is the wee orphan lamb. We've nicknamed her uh, Hazelnut. She's just harassing Amber now, trying to get a drink. Is she, when's she due for the next drink, Amber? Uh, 1.30. Oh, yeah, so we've... already given her her 10 o'clock. Right, so she's not due for another three hours or so. And she was a twin. But her mother um, decided that she didn't like this one. She was, a bit, she was weak. Oh, hello, Plato. So she was getting a bit of a hiding from her mum. So we had to uh, orphan her. A hazelnut. Oh, a young one. <laughs> Plato is jealous, <laughs> aren't you, Plato? <laughs> this is how we're managing to stop young hazelnut pooing and weeing all over the ground. We got given a few newborn nappies. So we're um, we're just using them up through this process. Works quite well. This is how Amber's um, found that it's the best method to change the nappy without the lamb wriggling around all over the place. Hey, hazelnut. Oh, that was a big shake, wasn't it? Oh, hello. <laughs> Hey buddy. Love and life. We just had her outside and we'll take her outside in a moment. So we've been dealing with the goiter with uh, the old multi-mineral salt blocks. We've also been giving them the chelated minerals to the lambs. Um, and soon be giving that to the sheep. Just uh, gotta uh, wait till the lambs are a bit bigger and then we'll separate them. Yeah, the sheep are all hanging out under these kofi trees, bedded down in here. I moved them into this paddock away from the barn where their main shelter is, just uh, pretty much just for worm burden. Just, I don't want to. Uh, as the lambs start grazing, I don't want them to get too much of a worm burden. A nice cover here. And I've put some hay down um, when they were lambing, because they actually lambed, most of them lambed in this paddock. I put some hay down when they were lambing, and that's all still here. The little guy's having a feed. Tail's wee wagging there. Um, yeah, the bedding's all still there, 
So they're loving these sorts of spots, clearly because of this bit of hay there in the shelter. Right, so uh, the little lambs are now about two weeks old, fighting fit. They're all really doing well. Even Goiter, whose name is now Chunk. Yeah, they're all looking really nice. So we've got seven out of seven. Some of these little black rams are growing really fast too. Oh, they're very curious about me. Lambs are on the move again. I've just got them in a couple of paddocks in front of the in front of the cows. Um, we're trying to give them the nicest, freshest grass, and I, I'm trying to really uh, make sure that there's very little worm burden in these in these paddocks. These little twins here are a hard case. One of them ran under the fence and I was trying to catch him or trying to move him back and he was so fast I couldn't believe the, the vigour from these two young boys here they've definitely got a lot of vigour hey ladies hello boys good sized rams too considering I've been trying to get some action shots of these lambs. Man, it's hard work. Every time they start playing, my phone is nowhere to be seen or I'm nowhere to be seen. But yeah, pretty long grass in this paddock here, so I think they should do pretty well on it. Lambs are two weeks old now and they're really starting to carry themselves quite well. They're nibbling all grass and they're uh, testing out the water. A couple of them have grown out of their little jumpers. and So we found the jumper on the ground. They kind of just uh, fall off them, basically. Here you go. She's watching me, watching her two young twins. She doesn't like me getting in between them. Sheep are pretty friendly though. They're um, they're pretty quiet in the scheme of things. Can't put a leash on them or anything, but they're, they're pretty quiet. Let's go have a look at Goiter or Chunk. He um, isn't looking too flash, in my opinion. I think he could have a little bit of white muscle disease, um, which is, is caused from uh, a lack of selenium, and I, I'm sort of seeing that in his ears. See how his ears are droopy like this. So yeah, if he can, if we can get another week out of him, I'm going to give him some more vitamins, and that'll top him up in iodine and selenium. And um, yeah, but I am very surprised that he's still he's still going. He's and yeah, he's still healthy enough. He's a big big wee boy. The size of that goiter. <laughs> right on cue. <laughs> this is our other lamb. Plato! Come here. Hey, buddy. How are you? Hey? Oh, yeah. You want me to throw this, do you? Oh, there you go. 
Go. <laughs> All right, over and out. See you later.